All hail the beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. In today's video, we doing another subscriber's choice and <laughs> diving back into the house of Armoth. This time, we hitting you off with Trey No Eat, poor own. All right, guys, so here's the presentation for Trey. <laughs> Fuck the box. Had to handle my light work. All right, Beardos, that's your presentation for Trainer Week Poor Ohm you have. Pretty cool bottle, but I don't want to talk about it at all. Let's talk about the juice. All right, guys, so this one has sandalwood, lemon, iris, and ambergris. Now, again, arm off. Why are you copying another creed? Now, a lot of people purchase this fragrance with the expectation to get green iris tweed from the house of Creed or David Doff's cool water. Now yes, there are similarities between this thing and those two iconic fragrances, but again, they are not carbon copies. Now I believe this one is about 70 to 75% identical to Green Iris Tweed, and that's the one that most of you are going for when you purchase this fragrance anyway. Now with that stated, if you're looking to purchase this in lieu of buying Green Iris Tweed, then you might be a tad bit disappointed. Now don't get me wrong, overall I think this is a decent fragrance, but when you compare them, meh. It's not quite the same. Now when this one opens up, I get a blast of green crisp fragrances, but it's not like I'm rolling around the hills of Ireland. But it's nice, fresh, clean, and crisp without being overly synthetic. Now I'm not sure if I'm the only one out there that gets this, but when I sprayed this fragrance, um, I was actually telling my wife yesterday that there was something in here that was a bit sour, that smelled a bit off. Now I'm not sure if it was just my nose playing tricks on me because I sprayed like 16 fragrances on me at the time. Don't ask me no questions. Or if it was just the fragrance in itself. Now I also get a bit of woods in the dry down and it's a bit earthy and dirty as well, but it's not in a bad way. This is not like the um, dirt from Jean Paul Gaultier's Coco Rico. This is more of a, you know, playing in the dirt that's fresh. Good dirt. I, if there's any way to kind of make that work, put it in a good dirt term. I also feel that this one is a very inoffensive fragrance despite the having the dirt and the freshness and all that. It's a good fragrance. I think you'll like it. Now, what is different to me despite its similarities to uh, Green Irish Tweed and how mature that fragrance is, this one has a more youthful vibe than the two that it's been typically compared to. And then if you're looking for bang for buck, then you obviously win with this one because this is a lot, a whole lot cheaper than Green Irish Tweed. Now this fragrance itself was produced in January of 2017. We are now in August of 2017, so it's not old at all, but it lacks the performance when you compare it to Green Irish Tweed. For me, I get about four hours of longevity on this one, and then maybe an hour or so of projection before it dies down to be more of a skin scent. Now, if you're looking at this fragrance on its own, I believe it's a great fragrance and a good entry level fragrance, but if you're comparing it apples to apples to green Irish tweed or green to green to green Irish tweed, then it doesn't quite compare. Overall, I think this is still a good one to keep in the collection. You can get this one for under $30, under 30 smack of rules, which you really can't beat, man, because I think getting in the door with Creed for, for a small one ounce bottle, you like eight times the price, I don't know. I don't know, but it's a lot more expensive getting in the door than versus getting in the door with this one. I think some of you guys out there are really savvy on the internet, know a few sites that I might not know, and might be able to get this one for under $15. So look around, you can find this one very cheap. I'm going to link the spot that I bought this one below, so you can check it out if you want to. And if I had to rate this on a scale of one to 10, I think it's a seven. It's a seven, it's a nice introductory fragrance that I think you'll be happy with, but you won't break the bank if you don't, so definitely check this one out. Now, let's say we got Floyd Mayweather and we got Conor McGregor. Who wins in your fragrance battle? We all know what happened in the fight. Let me know what you think. Are you on team Floyd or are you on team McGregor? Comment below and let me know. I'm your boy, Big Beard B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we back again and be a man. Be a trainer, weak man. And hit the goddamn.